Hey, I'm Tanya Cortez and welcome to the Foundation channel. On this channel, I talk about everything foundation and complexion for more mature skin. So today, guys, we are going to be like, I know I'm late and wrong. I already know. I already know I'm late and wrong. But anyway, we got to start somewhere. So we're going to be looking at the KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation, as well as the Rich B-I-T-C-H primer new hydrating primer so i'm so excited to try this you guys so if you guys want to see what that foundation looks like and how the primer wears stay tuned don't you worry don't you cry don't you worry All right, guys, so I'm excited about this video today because we're going to be trying a couple of things. Now, when I was away, when I wasn't doing videos, I did see this release of this foundation, the KVD Good Apple Serum um, Foundation. It's full coverage. I did see that, um, and I've been itching to try it. I watched just a couple of videos because I knew eventually I was going to review this um, foundation. Also, while we're trying this, because this is a full coverage foundation, I wanted to try the new Rich B-I-T-C-H. Um, YouTube is so funny, so I don't want to say it out loud, you know. So I wanted to try this primer because this is supposed to be a hydrating primer. So let me give you the vitals on the primer. The primer is $38 and it is vegan. It's hydrating without parabens, it's good for uneven texture, it's clean and it's cruelty free. It says it's a gripping cream to oil prim primer that can be worn alone or to lock in makeup. The skin types are for normal, dry combination and oily. So um, it helps with dryness, dullness and uneven texture. Because we're using this foundation, I felt like this would be a good thing. Right now, all I have on is moisturizer. So we're gonna go ahead and get her on the skin. She has a pump. This is plastic and it actually is like gluey like that. So I'm going to um, use this on this side only, okay? I wanna see how this uh, foundation wears without a primer because I've heard that you don't need one. So of course I want to see. So this is very hydrating. It feels really nice. It feels like lotion going on. It feels really, really nice. And it has a little, it smells really good. It really feels nice. It feels like a moisturizer. So now we're going to Get into the vitals for this foundation. Yes. She has 40 shades and she's $42. He's vegan, full coverage, cruelty free with a natural finish. Okay, so this is good for um, oily combo and normal skin. It's not saying anything about dry skin, so beware. <laughs> and it's a lightweight, full coverage serum foundation that blends and bends with skin for a natural seamless finish and transfer proof wear. Okay, so now let's get this on some mature skin. All right, so I got the shade uh, 1072 and I hope that this works out, but this is the bottle, it's glass. Um, the top is plastic, but has a pump and let's try and see what this looks like all right so okay it's 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 thick but it's not super thick so we're only gonna start with that little bit because <laughs> I gotta tread lightly all right so we're gonna use a brush and and I'm sure I could use a sponge but I don't have any clean sponges sorry now I am gonna announce in this video who is the winner that won this 101 BK Beauty brush, okay? So let's go ahead and we're gonna do this side, this side first so that we can give a chance for the primer um, to sink in. So I'm only gonna do them little bit of dots and I still have a lot left. I just used a couple dots. So let's try and see how this blends in. So 
So this is what it looks like with that little bit of a dots. So that's this side and it's this side. All right, so it blends really nice. Um, blends really nice. I can still see the, the darkness on my face but that of course was just a little bit and I got a big face <laughs> so I always need some more but um so we're gonna go ahead and build that up okay so let's put just a little bit more and I think the shade is okay right now so this is this side um with this amount this is how much I have left so this is half of a pump okay so that's what this side looks like and this side. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on this side with a brush and let's see how this looks with the hydrating primer. Oh, definitely gonna need some more on this side. So looks like I'm gonna have to do two pump minimum. You know, that's what I normally do, like a pump and a half. That's a pump though. So I'm gonna just do a little bit more. Just another little bit more. And then let's put this on. This is the side with no primer. And this is the side with the hydrating primer. Now I think that this would look really nice with a sponge as well. Okay, so this is what we are looking like. So it is drying. It doesn't have like a really strong smell or anything, um, but this is what it's looking like right now. So, so far so good. And I actually can see the difference between the primer side and the no primer side. And the reason why is because that primer is very radiant. It does have a nice shine to it. So this is giving it a nice little glow, whereas I have no primer here and it does look a little bit more matte on this side. All right, guys, so I'm back and I put on some concealer and I set the foundation. But to be honest with you, it didn't even look like I really needed to set the way it dried down. So it is definitely full coverage. It's definitely full coverage. Um, I feel like it's, I can feel it getting dry though, if that makes any sense. I'm, I know that's weird, but I can feel that it's getting dry, like that it's drying. Um, I won't say my face is necessarily tight, but I can feel like it's drying. So I will be back later on and then we'll see how this is wearing. All right, see you soon. All right guys, so I'm back and I'm, now it's only been five hours, but I'm gonna tell you why it's only been five hours because I have to get this off my face. I have, I'm feeling all this prick, prickliness on this side of my face. So I'm going to assume that it's the primer because I don't have it on this side at all. And this is the side I have no primer. So I don't know if the primer is not doing well with the foundation or whether the primer the primer is not doing well on my skin. I don't know exactly what it is, but I just feel all these pricklies, like something is crawling on my face and it's driving me nuts. So I tried to keep this on as long as I could, but let's just take a look at it. So this is the radiant side that had the radiant primer. And then this is the side with no primer. Okay, so clearly we can see that I'm more oily, more shiny on this side. Um, I can see more of the texture um, on this side. I can't say that it accented it a lot, but you know, but I do see here where it did kind of build up here and it broke apart on my nose a little bit and it looks like it's off my nose at the tip of my nose um so that's this side this side looks much better it is still a little oil, uh, shiny in here um but other than that it still looks pretty matte so this gives me the idea that if i put this on 
with a nice mattifying primer or just a regular primer because the foundation is matte enough where I don't think that you would necessarily need a super matte primer. I guess you could, um, but I think a regular just face primer might work well with this because if you put a mattifying under here, it might make it too matty and then get that, I don't know, that look. Like right now, this is fighting with a makeup, makeup look. This kind of, all of it is kind of makeup-y. It feels like a little bit makeup-y to me. But if you put on a regular primer under this, I think you're going to get a lot more wear, lot, you know, a lot longer time. Because I don't have anything there, I think that's why it's breaking through um, faster. But you can clearly see the difference in these primers and the shine and all of that. I think it's pretty. I think it's nice. Um, I, don't, I can't say that it wouldn't wear horribly, but just the five hours, I still think ultimately that it looks nice. You know, I think it definitely is worth a try if you're a, found, a full coverage foundation girl. I think this looks natural enough where you can kind of definitely... Like, I would not have thought this was a KVD foundation. Only because KVD, <laughs> it gets pretty much spackle all the time. But this doesn't kind of look like that. It has like a natural finish. Um, maybe if it was longer, like a 10 hour wear time, I think that it would have broke up all around the nose area. I do think it would have faded in some areas because uh, it didn't fade that much over here, but it did over here. So, so this is what it looks like. So let me give you the winner of the brush. So with the, I did a little machine thing on the computer and I put everybody's name in that did comment and that was all that on the video. And the winner was Damon to Damon 22, oops, 288. Damon to Damon 288. I hope I'm saying that right. And if I'm not, Please forgive me, but you did win the BK, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I'm going to also throw some other little goodies in there, and I hope you enjoy it. I really, really do. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel, watching my videos. I so appreciate it to all of you guys. So please like this video. If you want to subscribe, you can do that, and I'd appreciate it. But thank you guys so much, and remember, it all starts with the base. You guys stay safe. Bye.